In this video, I show you the steps I use to plan for an online game. If you're new to gaming or you're new to running a dungeon or you're new to running a dungeon uh, online, uh, you need to plan out your scenario. You need to have some idea of what you're gaming. So you get the first thing is to pick your adventure. That's a fairly easy. There are lots of videos, discussions about how to pick your adventure. And you need to decide how long are you going to game for? Because you need to tell people, I like to do three hours. Uh, that gives a, that's a nice uh, duration for gaming. And um, you need to pick a date that you're going to do this on. You can do ad hoc, but unless you've got a lot of people who are willing to jump in where you just start it, you, you need to do that. And you need to plan that usually a couple of days in advance. I try and get the invitations out for, for a game on Friday or Saturday by Wednesday. Now, that means that it's up the, that it's posted on various uh, Google groups and on Facebook that to find new players. And if you've got a group, then you don't need to do that. But it's always convenient to to uh, tell people ahead of time when the game is going to be and how long it's going to be. So those are just uh, simple things to plan for. The other question is what time? Now that actually is a bit harder than you would imagine because if you're playing online, you can have people around the world deciding to play. And <clears throat> the one time uh, that you, in the 24 hour clock, clock, I would suggest to avoid is midnight. <laughs> And let me explain. I tried that. I uh, tried setting up a campaign. I thought, oh, we'll start the game at midnight. Uh, is it Friday night, midnight? Is it Friday? Is it Saturday night, midnight? People get confused about what day the game actually is. If you do 11.30 p.m. or 12.30 a.m., that's much easier than doing uh, 12 o'clock AM because people get confused and that was just a little uh, little little word of warning you could do it but I suggest you don't that it's easier to to pick a time either 1130 or, or 1230 and you schedule it in your time zone that's one of the advantages with Google Hangouts which I'm going to go through and they will show it in the local time zone that the person is in. So they can see what, if they're in central time zone, if they're in New Zealand and so on, if they're in Europe, it'll show them their local time. So pick a time that's convenient for you, that's convenient for the players that you know about that, that are there and decide if you're going to allow other people to come in. So we've picked uh, your adventure and we've picked uh, when you're going to do it, and maybe you figured out who you're going to invite and how you're going to invite them in the various Google groups. One other thing that you may not have thought about, and that is when you uh, do a Hangout or a Hangout online, you really want to define your own banner. That's the little graphic that shows up. And trying to find the dimensions of that is something interesting. It's 1200 by 300. So I'm going to now show you some of the things that I do with the graphics. And I will, will actually schedule one of my games online so you can see how that works. So as part of preparation, you want to know what you're going to call your Hangout. And in this case, I'm going to, this is called World of Tiglath Campaign, and this is going to be adventure number 11. This is the 11th one we've had so far since we rebooted. This is my uh, 
my short elevator pitch for for the campaign to uh, maybe make it people interested in this. It's useful if you want to uh, say that new characters are welcome, that you'll integrate them into the campaign. I have a community, which is a, for the, the world of Tiglath, and that's useful information to also put in here. And then I have a link to the previous adventure. It's useful to prepare this beforehand, just like this is, I'm pulling up GIMP. This is a graphic editor. Um, and it's useful to have a theme prepared. And this is a, this is, I took this with a, my camera, with my camera phone. Then I cropped it to 1200 by 300. So if you see that the image properties is 1200 by 300, you're going to want that and you may want to actually create a short, less than three minute uh, video to uh, about your campaign if, if you want to be, if you want to go that route, if you're going to go uh, to, uh, particularly with Hangouts on Air. So here, so that's there. So now we've closed this out. This is what we're going to do. So now we go to the Google Hangouts page and I'm going to schedule a hangout on air for uh, my World of Tiglath campaign. So you click here, Hangouts on Air, and you say, create your hangout on air. Now then, we have some things to, uh, that we can cop, that we can uh, come here so we can set, we know our name of our uh, campaign. We can actually do this, I believe we do let's see let's put that there so we copy that come over here we paste it then we come back to our word document and we can copy out this information here and put that in our description so this shows our description now when do we want our adventure so I'm not going to do now, I'm going to do later. This one, I'm going to schedule uh, on Saturday at 8.30 p.m. And it's going to run for three hours, okay? Now, I can invite people and that's a whole interesting discussion. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and pick uh, just one because I have a community. You can see I have all, I, I'm there. So there it is, World of Tiglath. I'm going to invite the World of Tiglath community to this because they're, they're people who are have signed up for that community for there. You may want to pick individual people and specify this. So now then I click share. So this let's conf confirm this is on a Friday at 8.30 for three hours and we have this. So now this creates our uh, hangout. So we see this, this is great. Now, the thing that I don't like is I, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm immediately going to edit the event because it has a theme and I don't like their default theme. So I click change theme and I click upload and I'm going to drag the theme that I showed you before over. Let's see, drag your, oops, you drag more than one photo. Okay, dismiss. I made, okay, I made a mistake, dismiss. So if I click over here and I grab a folder and that is my theme, so that's there. So now I have my theme. Okay, so I've got my event, I've created my event. I happen to have a trailer prepared, so I can go to my uh, Tiglath introduction, and then it will say, um, hmm, perhaps, <laughs> or you can go to your YouTube videos 
And for me, that gets a little bit harder because I know it's, I keep scrolling down till I find it. Um, so that's World of Tiglath Adventure 4. So I'm now I'm getting closer. Uh, and I come down to um, World of Adventure 2. And Introduction to the World of Tiglath. So I add my trailer. So now this will show this will show up as my trailer will show up as part of that if you want to have your trailer. So now I've got this and I could then start sharing this event, but this is how you create your event. You, you've got your banner, if you have a trailer, which is there, and then you can um, specify the time and you've got everything on there. If you like my video, press the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. Or if uh, this interests you, you can always subscribe to my channel. There's a button right above. Uh, I look forward to hearing some comments. Tell me what you think about this and I'll uh, uh, try and reply and uh, we can see if I'll do some more of these. Thank you.